Here in the Tenderloin, San Francisco's most depressed community, people come to Glide Memorial Methodist Church to hear the message of Reverend Cecil Williams. It has been called Inspirational, Sacrilegious, and America's Only Sunday Morning Nightclub. In the months after he brought his controversial theology to Glide in 1964, Reverend Williams took the traditional cross out of the church and created the celebration, a non-traditional religious experience of light, sound, movement, and emotion. I think if everyone came to Glide and listened to Cecil talk, that they probably wouldn't have to go to therapist so much. He taught, well, instead of just reading from the Bible, he talks about everyday problems. You know, like one week he'll talk about child sexual abuse, and that happened in my family recently, and it really helped me get through it. The important thing for me here is to really make sure that people step across to involvement. That is critical in what I do, uh, to, to, to not have spectators. But there's no church in America like Glide. No church. See, I don't want to duplicate what other churches are doing. I don't want to be a middle class church with, when you know, when you go in there, you got to be quiet and holy and not me. No, when you come in Glide, you come into a lot of noise and, and spirit. You know, we got something to celebrate. <laughs> church has too much theological baggage. That's true. We, we often talk about what we believe, but we don't act what we believe. And what I'm trying to do is, is change the in complete emphasis on acting, and out of the acting comes the belief. <laughs> As one writer said of me, I'm like a jazz musician. As long as you've got the melody, you can improvise, you can extemporize, you can be spontaneous, you can be intuitive. I have a theme, but I'll go any direction, create a kind of freedom with people so they can understand that there is no set way to live their life. What God may be doing at this particular time, as some, some writers put it, that he may be on the periphery of the world, you know, out on the perimeters, rather than in the world at this time, he may be on the perimeter saying, all right, you do it, you do it, you do it, you enact it, you engage it, you take it on, you know, come on, come on, you know, don't, don't be a sucker, you know, don't just suck on all that God talk, act what you're talking about. We don't have to wait until we get on our dying beds and say, Lord, I know I'm about to go. I'm, I'm going to love everybody that I hated. No, you begin that now. Begin it now. Love everybody. Because there is power in love. Don't you know that? See, Vascalia and a number of us keep saying that there is power in love, but most people don't believe there's power in love. They think that love is, is nice and meek and mo and, you know, and just kind of being good and, and making sure that everybody else is good. No, there's power in love. When you got power in love, it lifts you up and takes you on no matter what the circumstances, and it lifts others up because they begin to see the power that's in love. That hate, I hate people telling me God loves me. Like, so what? You know, what do you do? Do you love me? That's the question. The question is not whether God loves me. I know that, and even if I don't know it, it's all right with me whether God does or doesn't love me. Do you love me? <laughs> 
That's the question. Sure, Glide is really Cecil Williams in many ways. You know, I don't fool myself and I don't try to fool anybody else. I know that I am, in many ways, the hub of Glide. But I also have had to deal with whether or not I wanted to exploit people so that Cecil Williams had the power. And what I have tried to do since I've been here in the 20 years is to say to people, I got power, and you got it too. Now you embrace yours, because I'm going to do mine. I'm going to embrace mine. And I'm going to do everything I possibly can so you will have the opportunity to embrace your power.